This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Freeform Friday where we play some random video game and today's game is called Depraved. It's a western town simulator so we're gonna go new game. I'm gonna leave all this as is. We're gonna click next. We're gonna randomly generate a map. We're gonna generate it. Do it. There we go. Um... Yeah, I guess that's fine. All right, we'll click play. All right, and here we go. We are in the game. We got our wagon ready to put down our settler area. Now listen, I know these graphics look like they're like from 1999. I know, I understand that. But it's a pretty cool game. I already played it just a little bit to get a hang of it and like an idea of how it plays out. And I was actually really starting to enjoy it. So don't let the graphics fool you. There's there's a lot of gameplay here. All right, so let's just zoom out a little bit. Let's. Look, I'm looking for some stones. Some okay, we got iron there. Some trees here. Um, I think this right here is like a decent spot. So what we're gonna do now is just grab this right here and. Why didn't it do the thing? Do I gotta do the thing? Do the thing. Click this. Yep. There we go. We got it. Okay. That's what I wanted. Now we're just gonna go right up here and think I want to put it like right. Okay. I don't want the blue. That blue area is like our area where we can build within and we can expand that, but that doesn't make the natives. Oh, we're really close to the natives here. It's fine. We'll be all right. So let's just do this. We're gonna place it that way like that there we go all right so we'll just wait for our wagon to head on over there let's just speed this up i highly recommend playing this on three times speed makes things go a lot faster uh you may like the slow game play that's fine but uh i don't i like it going quickly so you can see that we have a ton of different buildings down here like look at all this stuff there's a lot of stuff here this is all like decorations and stuff Yep, seat decorations, but there's a ton of other things. So we're going to build this right. So I think we can build this like out of our area and then tell them to work or in our area and tell them to work out of our area. Now, this is a Western town. So everything has to be in nice straight lines like a Western town. You can't be building stuff all willy nilly and like, you know, circle patterns or whatever, like in a normal town, nothing like that. We got it just as straight as line possible, two sides. I want this, why will that not, okay, right there, just like that. And then we need this and we'll place that, do it just like this, right up against the other one. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna let them do that. That gets us started. We also need an outhouse. We're gonna just one outhouse for everybody. Every single person here is gonna share this same outhouse. So we'll we'll just put this right right there. Right like that. Okay, looks great. I'll eventually have a line of outhouses, but for now everybody just gets one. So as we get more people, this will start to unlock more stuff. You can see that it's all based on the amount of pioneers you have. So we also need a warehouse. This is where everything gets stored. And I'm actually going to place that right across from our other stuff here. I don't think it really matters, but we're going to... is which way this one's facing, but we're going to place it. So I'm going to get one more building here, and then we'll do the warehouse and a couple of other buildings. So we'll just do that. That looks good, just like that. Okay, so now we just gotta let them build that stuff up. You can see that we have a worker, so all of these little individual people, they have to work your buildings. So you have to have, like, get in more people or buildings won't operate if they don't have somebody working them. But we can do this and move this area, so we can just move this to, like, over here. And now he should go over there. You can see it turned yellow. Now he'll go over there and, and do some work. Uh, we can uh, also tell him to instantly like pick up the goods and we can fire him, get somebody new. We can hire two additional people. We can get information on that individual person. So you can see each of these people have their own little uh, needs and all that stuff. We can follow them. Um, we can tell them to do different stuff. You can see there, you can control the people too. Like you can click them and control them. So like I said, don't let the graphics fool you. There's there's a lot of, uh, you know, modern gameplay style features here. So next we're going to build, uh, what is this I just clicked on? The shack. So this is your houses. 
So we're gonna build a line of shacks over this way. We have some stone here that we're eventually gonna have to get out of the way, but we'll, we'll just build some shacks here for now. We can build one there, and then we will build one directly across from it, like that, and then another one here, and then, uh, nope. Well, we can expand this area, and we will in a minute. Uh, you just click this, but we're losing money right now, and I want to get into a situation where we're gaining money before I click to uh, to expand our area. Nope, I did not want to click that. So we need a stone cutter now, so we can build the stone cutter right here, like so. I do really like the feature that how you can tell them to work someplace else. Like a lot of these games, you build, you build like your lumber shack, you build it next to some trees and it has like an area around it in which they'll work. But with, I, I love this, like, cause you can just move them. Like once he clears this out, I can just tell him come over here or come over here or wherever. And I don't have to build like 50 billion freaking lumberjack shacks. I think that's a, a really cool feature. All right, now we need the hunter shack. So we'll just uh, put that right next to this. Like, nope, did it not pl place the shack? There you go. Okay. One thing that bothers me a little bit when I, when I right click to deselect stuff, it's kind of, you can't move your mouse at all. If you move your mouse, it moves the camera. So I don't know if maybe there's, um, someplace I can customize it to like turn that off. Cause you can move with the W, A, S and D keys. And that's what I use. I don't use this. So if you do, if you move the mouse just the tiniest bit, you can't unclick. So maybe I can like unbind that or turn that off so I can just move with the W, A, S, and D keys and like click and move my mouse and still be able to um, deselect whatever I, I have under my, my cursor. And while we're waiting for all this stuff to build, we'll take a look at the little wheel here. So we got city overview, get a look at like what's going on in the city, crime, city mood. We have all of our stuff that we have, tells us uh, how much we're getting or how many we're getting in, how much it sells for, how much we can buy it for, all that stuff. We have uh, limiting production. We have all of our different uh, people that belong to our city right now and their needs. We have people who are in prison. Then we have the transport routes set up. I don't know how this works yet. I haven't got into that. We have the map overview. And then we have the different types. So like right now, all we have is pioneers. This is what their needs are. Then we'll eventually get to settlers and they'll need these things. And then we'll get to merchants and they'll need these things. And then uh, we have our diplomacy with the local natives. So our hunter shack is almost done. They're still building it here. Once that's complete, then we'll tell it to go hunt. We have our little normal shacks completed over there so people can come and actually like live here. Let's take a look at our building, see if we've unlocked anything else yet. Nope, still the same stuff. We're waiting on uh, more people to show up. I guess we could build another house. Let's build another shack. We just put one right here. I wasn't gonna put one here, but hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to... We have not built the stonemason yet, have we? No, I don't think we have. So we can build the stonemason right there. That way they're close to this too. Because they have to take... Wherever they bring their stuff to, they have to bring it then to the warehouse. Okay, so the hunter shack. Why are we not completing the hunter shack? I thought it was done. Complete the thing. Let's give this a higher priority. Maybe they'll complete it. But uh, so anyway, like when they gather the wood here, you can see they're, then they then take it over to here. So if we have everything close to this, they don't have to travel as far. All right, we got one more board. Come on, complete it. Finish it. You need meat. Okay, fantastic. So now we can move this around to wherever there's some meat. There's a lot of meat in the woods. So we're just going to go over here and do the woods. Why is that red? Okay, there we go. Took it just took it a second to uh, to change color there and update. So now once this is complete, we do the same thing. We'll tell it to. Uh, I think I'm gonna knock this one out first so I can continue my line of shacks down this way. Well, uh, there's only 49 there. Shouldn't take them too terribly long to do that. We can also uh, put carriers on each of these so the people who are actually harvesting or doing the thing don't have to carry it over to the warehouse. So right now we're just going to put one carrier there and one there and one there. 
And, oh, I did build a stone mason. Crap, we don't want two stone masons. Cancel that. I thought I had built a stone mason. Okay, so I'm derping over here. So we're going to take the stone mason and tell him to harvest that one first. He was over here harvesting this one. We want him to harvest the other one over there. That means we can actually build a shack here, which is even better because that means we will get more people to show up and be in the town. So we'll do that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we've unlocked a bunch of new buildings here. We got the cemetery, the undertaker, the stables, the doctor, which is something we're going to need because we've gotten attacked a couple times, the woodcutter, which cuts firewood. So let's go ahead and build a couple of those buildings. We will place the woodcutter right there. We need a doctor. So let's get the doctor and we'll place the dock right like that. And then the cemetery can go, we want this just back here out of the way. Let's change it to that direction there. And then of course an undertaker and we're running out of room. Let's just put the undertaker. I know, well, no, we can't do it. We can't do it. It has to be, it has to be two lines like all Western civilizations. Okay. So there we go. We're going to build the, uh, the undertaker down that way. Okay. So we're going to let those build up and it's time to expand our area. So all we have to do is just click on this and we do that. And then we make the Indians unhappy because we're expanding our area. And now we can add a bunch more houses and stuff in each direction. And we're going to start off with the shacks. We need some more living space so people will come live here. So we're going to go like that two and let's do one more there we go so this gives uh oh you can also turn the, the map too by the way if you hold down middle mouse button i don't know if i told you all that so this gives the people plenty of stuff to do they got a lot of building to do still working on the doctor uh, we're probably going to start to run out of metal parts so i'm actually going to to buy some of those so we can just click here and uh, click in that little thing there you can grab this and slide it but i don't really like that so we're just going to do that, click 20, and uh, then they should just do the thing. A trade wagon will come. We should probably build a stable too, considering we have all of these horses here. Definitely a well. Let's get that. We're going to slap that right there in the middle of the town, just like that. It looks like we got uh, bandits settled down someplace close to here. Oh, they're over here. That's not good. Got a banded tent. Two banded tents. We're going to have to... Well, I've armed a bunch of my people... I set it so you can set it here so like it manually arms the residents. So maybe we should purchase some more guns. Let's do that. Let's get, um, Colts are only, wait, am I selling? I want to buy. We want to buy Colts. I was going to be like, Colts are really cheap. Let's buy some Colts. We're going to buy, uh, not 10. That's a lot of money. Let's buy two. Let's buy four. Yeah, let's buy four arm a couple of people just in case the bandits decide to come over here because you never know you never know what those crazy bandits are going to do and i don't know how this i don't know if just like everybody just comes over here and gets a gun when it shows up in here i guess because we did have some guns in here but now we don't so i i guess that's how it works really really a thief just come over here and stole something nobody shot the thief nobody nobody thought it was good idea to shoot the dude who was stealing our crap do we need i need a sheriff station or something where where is that at how many more people do we got to get in here for me to unlock that i need we need law we gotta have the law here we got a saloon we got gallows there's the sheriff why can't i we need five settlers we need one settler for that 40 for oh we need to make it to settlers before we can do how do we get that i don't even know how you get to the settlers let's see if we can figure that out all right, so it's been going on a little bit. Everything's been going pretty good. I got two more buildings. We got the fire station and then, uh, where was it? The other one oh, over here under production. We got the tailor. I'm waiting till this stone gets cleared out here. They almost got it cleared out. And then I'm going to put in the tailor. And I guess we'll put the fire station like right next to the tailor. Oh, why is that? I got a question mark. The well produces no more water you must build a new one well that's crap well can we just blow it up yep looks like it perfect all right let's build another well i guess oh it looks like we we unlocked some transportation we got the rail station the silo 
and the water tower. A water tower can store large amounts of water. All right, cool. In the silo, you can store your harvest. Okay. Train station offers you contracts that you can do for money. Can only be built on existing rails. Oh, that's pretty cool though. So I guess is it is down here? Yeah, so down there is our rail. All right, that's pretty neat. It's like, I, I feel like if we build down here, it's going to make the Indians really angry. So we, we're probably going to hold off on that one. Oh, what's this? Oh, we definitely need this, a Forester. Okay, so can we cram the Forester right in here? Why do I got to build it all the way out there? I want to build it right here. Can we face it in another direction? Can we put it like right here? Oh, oh, we can, we can, we can. Nice. Okay, so right... There, perfect. All right, where was the well? Why can't I? Oh, what's this? Butcher? We got a butcher too? Why can't I not find the stupid well? Oh, it's right here under production. Oh, and we can build crop fields. Nice. All right, so we need to throw down. Oh, it tells us. Oh, that's cool. So we got to just move it around to different areas. You think right there the well would be really good. What about over here? Oh, it's excellent right there. Let's build it where it says excellent. It's a little far from our station over here, but what about over here? Well, it's even further. Yeah, we'll just build it right there. That's a good spot. And then we have the crop fields. The crop field allows you to grow crops. Well, no duh, but I'd like a little... Oh, it looks like we can actually drag it. Okay, so we need to remove... Well, I guess we could just build over those trees. We're going to put the crop field right next to the cemetery. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, why is it being wonky? All right, maybe we got to place it first. No, why is that? Hold on, what's going on here? Cancel that. Destroy it. I hope I got my 400 back. Okay, drag with the left mouse button to resize the field. Oh, it, it like, it gets a little janky. Yeah, it like doesn't, um, hold on. So if we want to line it up, we got to place it like there. Uh, maybe it just won't line up completely. All right, so we can just do something like that. That's a pretty decent field. I wonder, I mean, our soil quality is excellent. That's going to be really expensive. Let's build... Oh, I see. So we drag it to change the size and then we place it. I got you. Okay, there we go. There we go. Pig farm. Yeah, we definitely want a pig farm. Wait, I'm, I'm getting out. I'm getting out of control here. We're, we're unlocking so much stuff. We grew like really quick. Um, sheep farm. So the sheep farm probably be needed for the tailor, I would imagine. So let's build the tailor first. Can you just get that last little bit of stone out of here already, dude? It's four. It's four. Just get it out of here so I can build the tailor. I'm just going to build it. We can build it right here like this. Perfect. Okay. And then the sheep farm. Oh, that's big. Okay. We're going to have to start another line. Unfortunately, I don't want to, but we're going to. So... Oh, oh, we got quality where we got a, um, crap. I guess the sheep farm's going here. Well, can we put the sheep farm next to that farm? No, we're running into some, like, some build issues there. Well, crap. What about, it's only good right there. Oh, we can move it up just the tiniest bit. Actually, you know what? Let's undo this. The cemetery needs to go. We don't need any place for dead bodies. I don't care about dead bodies. We're going to build a sheep farm. Yeah, right there. Build it. Oh, why does that take up such a weird area there? Wait, what happened? Hold on. Sheep farm. No, I don't want the sheep farm overlapping that. I want the sheep farm. Right. It was excellent just a second ago. Why is it not excellent now? Okay, right there is excellent. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, perfect. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't quite understand how that works. Did we get our money back? I don't even know. I don't care. It's fine. So we built the tailor. We built the sheep farm. Uh, I want to build... Okay, the butcher makes meat and leather from livestock. So 
I feel like we need the pig farm first and then the butcher, but we're going to have to hold off on the pig farm because we need workers and, and we're going to have to build like more housing. We're going to build a hotel. But we're probably just going to build, I'm just going to build more shacks. I, I hope that we can eventually like upgrade our shacks. Oh, uh oh, hold on. We got a problem here. Who doesn't have, you don't have anything. Okay. You do, man, you guys are clearing this stuff out fast. All right, so we're going to put, no, you're there, and then you're, well, we're just going to put you in the same spot. You guys can just clear out that whole freaking area. Uh-oh, the crime rate went up. I can't do anything about it, so I figured out how to do the thing. We need to make bread, and we need to be making alcohol, and we need to be making coats, and then we will have settlers. And then for this one, we need to add jewelry, um and fishing and then we'll have merchants right now it's we're just the freaking pioneers so i can't get any of this stuff until i start to be able to make those things okay well unfortunately we've hit our wrap-up time i'm in almost 60 minutes of footage for this so um yeah if you like the game there will be a link for it down in the description per the usual if it goes to the humble store it helps support the channel if it doesn't then it doesn't all right that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible y'all are absolutely amazing people if you'd like to join my leak or patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching